Hi guys, this is Gareth over here at Psilocyc and I'm doing a video reply to Rossi Boy here. I mean, I love everything that you're doing. You're doing a great job. And I'd like to kind of reflect on something that Ross does here, and that's he makes his space work. Um, I like his new beta tank that he's doing. I can't wait to see him get this thing planted up and going. But we're, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I like about my tank, and that's doing the same thing. Um, I had this little table here that you can see, and basically I decided that I wanted to use it for something else and I decided to build an aquarium that would fit it. As you can see I built this aquarium to fit perfectly on to the surface of the table. And that's the one thing that I really love about this aquarium is that it utilizes all of the space. Now here I'm going to talk a little bit about the most important part about building your an aquarium and that's measure twice cut once because once it's cut it's there um like i said measure twice cut once this is very important here you can see that my aquarium is 45 centimeters by 23 and a half by 16 well right here it says 22 and a half and that's because i have to leave a space in between my two pieces of glass to sandwich it and build up the walls now it's only going to be 16 inches here because this is going to be a plant aquarium. I don't really plan on putting any fish in it. Along with that you're going to need number one a glass cutter, 400 grit waterproof sandpaper or water sandpaper, vinegar to clean your glass and 100% silicone. If it's not 100% it is toxic and will not be good for your fish. All right, well here I'm going to talk about what the importance of the sandpaper is. And as if you can see this here, I don't know how well you can see that, but the glass isn't 100% straight. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sand it out. That way you get a nice flush surface so that when you go to silicone it, everything comes out nice and even. So if you have this sandpaper, you're just going to run it back and forth across it, and better yet, use a sanding block. It'll make it, your lines nice and straight. Well here's my new aquarium all put together. Um, I didn't get a chance to film all of it. My battery died while I was filming. But here it is. Like I said I'm not really planning on putting anything but plants in it. Maybe a beta. Um, we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to wait a couple days for it to cure before I put anything in it at all. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. I've enjoyed putting this thing together and like I said it's all about conserving space. Alright guys, well here it is. It's all done. Um, cheers to Rossi boy. I hope your beta aquarium works out nice. I hope this works out nice for me as well. And one last view of the aquarium over here. And I hope that everybody has enjoyed watching my video and maybe you can pick some stuff up on what I did. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an inbox message and I will definitely get back to you.